Hey everybody, this is Moose and I'm back again with another interview. Here with me is Unrivaled Pictures TM. Uh, he's also a stop motion animator and he's well known for doing Dragon Ball content, Transformers, and recently uh, is working on an Avengers Endgame stop motion. So I just want to thank you Unravel, for joining me. Uh, you're welcome. Um, I'm very excited and a little bit nervous, not gonna lie. Oh, um, no need I to really be nervous. Stuff with this. <laughs> Oh, no need to be nervous, man. You know, it's just like, you know, just just like a conversation, you know, just not like an interview kind of thing. Just, you know, just trying to do our yeah. best to get to know each other. So, um, I don't know if I mentioned, but one of the first videos I saw from you uh, was from your Dragon Ball Z Ultimate video. was the Broly Third Coming video that you made about two years ago. Yeah. Um, so, uh -huh. uh, I wanted to start off ta asking about your Dragon Ball Z content, so, like, talking about what inspired you entirely to make, you're just like, oh, you know, are you just because you're such a big fan of the show or the series, um, or was it just because, you know, you're just like, I want to make my own story, so what what entirely made you want to make Dragon Ball Z content? Um, hmm, that's a good one. For me, at least, I would say, um, it honestly started off with the uh, SH Figure Arts figures. Like, I grew up with the show and watching, like, Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball GT and stuff like that. But I just, the SH Figure Arts figures, when I realized how, like, articulated, well made, etc., they were made, I was like, oh, like, I can really do something with these. Like, I can, mm -hmm. like, start making stop motion with them, regardless if they were, like, good or not. And I was like, with these figures, I can, like, really recreate what they did in the show. And that's pretty much what I kicked it off from there. Um, I'd say what really inspired, uh, inspired me was the, uh, I don't know if you've seen it. Um, mm -hmm. It's a popular video. Uh, it was uh, Super Saiyans versus Super uh, Hedgehogs, I think it was. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, uh, Goku, I think it was Goku and Gohan versus uh, Sonic and Shadow. Yep. And yes. yeah, when I saw that for the first time, I was just absolutely amazed. I was like, man, like, that's awesome. Like, I, I want to do something like that. So that's, like, another uh, thing uh, that inspired me, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then the yeah. other uh, uh, thing that, like, kept me going was uh, my best friend, uh, Merit Movies, uh, Merit Movies. And, yeah, he's the, like, the main, I guess, inspiration and, like, main reason why we studied uh, Ultimates and, like, the series from there. All right. Um, let's see. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was pretty much. Yeah, my bad. Um, it was him. Are you good? Um, pretty much who like like we came together and he was like, because the thing about me, I kind of struggle with is the, I have ideas. I just have struggle like putting them. I guess you would say on paper or uh -huh. like organizing them correctly. So he's the one that helps me with that a lot, and we both come up with things and he writes it out for me. So that way I'm able to produce what we both think or what we both think is good. All right. I, I really, I, that's a really good answer, actually. Um, I, I actually, I collect Dragon Ball figures myself, like the SH Figure Arts and the Dragon Stars, and I would definitely would like to make uh, Dragon Ball content in the future. It's just all about the, the fight choreography and getting it, like, figuring it out. Also, also figuring out ideas as well. Um, figuring out, like, like, what I mentioned to you the last time we talked was what I like about you is that you sometimes you do recreations, but you also put a little twist to it. So it's like it's your own thing. And sometimes when you have like a a battle like similar to like uh, like Vegeta and Goku versus Jiren, like well, that was one of your videos. Um, I I really liked your your take mm -hmm. on the battles on on, on the fights and um, you and also just you and Merritt are just yeah. a really good team together. You you two really come up with some really great content together and that's something I really enjoy so uh, which leads on to my next question is um what is kind of you guys' process together you and Merritt when you guys come up with ideas so does one person come up with the writing and the other person's like okay I'm gonna work on this part of the project or is it like an all team effort like you both do everything essentially um, the process between the two, I mean, the, between us, um, huh. it, it's, it's a mixture of a kind of like everything. We, uh, like we, uh, take turns and whatnot. Um, 
Yeah, but he he's main like the main person, I guess you would say, in charge of like uh, getting voice actors, uh, reaching out to other people and whatnot, uh, writing and putting ideas together. Um, uh, what else is there? But yeah, me and him. The main thing is like we just talk a lot and like just collaborate and just think of like we'll like put both our ideas together and if we think like a certain idea maybe doesn't work or we don't think that other like each other's ideas either not necessarily like not good but if we like don't like see eye to eye like we just work things out and yeah it's oh it's pretty much always like been like an easy process with him or just with each other um besides if it's not us two talking about it we have our other friends like we've been in a group called bottom um we did this group like a long time ago um yeah, it's like us and other uh, animators. Well, who doesn't animate no more? But we have people like uh, Mikey Tron Three Hundred. Mm -hmm. He used to do uh, mm -hmm. T stop motions. Um, yeah, I remember Mikey Tron. Yeah. Uh, Scarlet Vision. Um, he hasn't uploaded in a while, but he's you know still around. Um, and our uh, other friend Obese. Uh, yeah, just a. Uh, people like like that's been our main crew for like years and years now and then we all just come together and just talk and whatnot and like collaborate on different ideas but like besides like me and him it's always been like us together like team effort type stuff mm -hmm. yeah um i was thinking yeah i was thinking that um that i think it's great that you guys just just have this great dynamic together and able to like like you said you you guys never really had any disputes or anything you guys just work things out and i think that's great um uh, i guess i guess another um thing is i wanted to ask is essentially uh one of your most popular uh videos that like i think i've seen is like um uh would have to be like your avengers videos so what what essentially so when um doing avengers infinity war and now doing avengers endgame um what was essentially your your thought process when when we making those uh was it just like you know i'm gonna like i'm gonna try my best to do something different or am i gonna take ideas from the movies and from like or like from comics and just try to like do something that's your own um i mean like essentially like i like with endgame essentially it is like your own story it's just the only thing that's the similar about it is oh, yeah. the name like the inclusion of wolverine the um, the whole dynamic of having Corvus, uh, I think it was Corvus Glaive and Proxima Midnight, wasn't it? Um, that fought the Avengers and, um, I think it was part oh, two. It was Ebony Maw. Ebony Maw. Yeah, Ebony Maw. Ebony, 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 Ebony Maw. Sorry about that. Um, no, that's alright. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, like Corvus Glaive and Ebony Maw fighting the Avengers, you know, just adding little things and changing up little, uh, bits of scenery that makes it mm -hmm. unique from its own. So like what entirely is like with your, like I said, your, your process when making something like that, when something that's like an already existing property and trying to make it your own. All right. Um, hmm. Well, the, it started with infinity war and way before like the movie came out, I released like uh, a little like tiny trailer. And at first the, I, I'm not gonna lie, the, uh, doing Avengers wasn't part of the overall plan. Mm -hmm. um, I, it was originally gonna be a one-off, like a spin-off, I guess you would say, like a one-stop motion type deal. And during that time when Infinity War came out, uh, I guess I can say I was like maybe inspired or like was like really hyped on that movie. And I was like, yo, like I, I, I think we can like do something. And I, wrote uh the first part by myself and <clears throat> um it was pretty much i think it was like honestly i think the video was like three five minutes long um it was pretty much like kind of kind of like the how it happened in the movie and that's pretty much how like i guess the series like from infinity war continued like that was pretty much like we followed the movie by adding our own stuff to it like uh ant-man there not including uh, people like mantis and whatnot or like certain characters and whatnot. Like, even though for that series at least, we pretty much kept it very similar to the movie, we also had in mind stuff that we would do in a sequel if we were if we were to do a sequel. 
so I had like stuff in mind that we included in there like I'm like like overall it was just like the movie I'm not gonna lie but like we did do certain changes here and there like Ant-Man or how Thanos did the snap and whatnot and then so once we saw how successful the series was we were like we can continue from Endgame or continue Endgame and we me and Merit movies both agreed we were like all right um we can definitely come up with a clever story for this one instead of what's it called using the movie and to be honest using the movie for infinity war was like my idea and i am not gonna lie kind of regretted that because looking back at it i still love the series don't get me wrong like i had a great mm-hmm. time like filming it and whatnot but i do i was like dang i like we did well i decided to do too much of what the movie was instead of like adding i guess more original stuff to it so that was like the main focus that uh, me and him had when it uh, when we started creating uh, Endgame, was trying to figure out how can we <clears throat> like add original things to it, and that's when we came up with like uh, the story and whatnot. Like we included like some things like like some of the things like Tony Stark in space and whatnot, and like you know certain things like that. But like overall things like if people like I, I still get the comment funny enough people asking like, is there going to be time travel. Um, is there going to be the start gauntlet? Right. And I'm just going to say this now: it, there's not going to be that at all. Like this is not going to make the main plot points you would think that would be in the series because of the movie. It's not going to be there. Mm-hmm. Like, like part three is really where like the story like really like builds and continues from there. And it's literally I'm like I'm putting emphasis on literally nothing like the movie. Like, like, like I'm making like we're making sure that this is not like the movie whatsoever. And that's our main goal with the series is trying to create it, like keep elements that were in the movie, I guess, like like certain things and whatnot. Yeah. But yeah. making it our original story in the end. Yeah. Um, I, I was actually when I remember talking with you the other, uh, I think last night, I was saying that uh, that's something that I really like about the series is that like I can go into it and just experience the story without having not to know anything because it's different from the movie um that's something that i like about uh storytelling in terms of taking something that might be already existing and kind of changing it into something that's that that person's own story Uh, that's something i i strive to do when it comes to stop motion or storytelling is uh like uh I, I, for example, I, I was like, for one of my Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy stop motions I'm doing, the, it was inspired by uh, Thor's interaction with the Guardians of the Galaxy. And it was a little bit inspired mm-hmm. by Thor Ragnarok and a bit of Infinity War, but like, there's no correlation, there's no uh, connection to the movies. It's essentially my original story and my original take on the a bit of the Guardians and some personality changes, some little personality changes, um, just so the uh, characters won't be exactly the same from the movies. Um, yeah. But it, it, essentially, they're still. I think they're still true to the characters that the, you know from the from the movies and the comics and everything. Um, and that's what I, I think the the hardest part about writing a character, especially like let's say you're trying to write four is if you write for your own way, some people are going to look at it as, oh, that's not how I know for, you know, from the movies yeah. or anything. <laughs> so it's like, um, that's what I like about storytelling, essentially, is that you, I think you have essentially a free reign to do whatever and to take a character and ch- and you can change it and do whatever you want with it. You know, like you're doing something with, like, say, like a comic book character, let's say, like, like Spider-Man or Thor or Captain America, um, that yeah. you you essentially you can keep it true to what you know that the character was created by you know like what they stand for or, you know the morals or whatever but you can have like new additions to, like like the like the ultimate uh, like you know like ultimate Spider-Man or the Ultimates or the Ultimate Fantastic Four they're like new uh, takes on those characters but they still stay true to what the original um, continuity you know, made those characters out to be. <clears throat> so that's something I, um, I kind of strive towards when other people are making their own stories is uh, I want more people in the community to take that sense of creativity and yeah. use it, you know? 
Um, oh. oh, go ahead. No, I was gonna say. Uh, no, I agree. I totally agree. Um, I'm like, I'm like, uh, back then I was guilty of that, like not doing that much of it, like I said with Infinity War. Mm -hmm. um, I, I totally agree with what you're saying, and I see that mindset now. I, I, I do think I may have a reason to why uh, some people. Uh, maybe not uh, some people might not do I guess necessarily original content. I don't mm -hmm. want to say like everything I mean everything is original in their own way, right, but I mean like maybe like like how like like, like I said like uh, Like maybe do something like verbatim like how something else was mm -hmm. uh, I think it's due to the mindset some people have when it comes to like Oh, if I don't do it exactly like let's say the movie the show the comic or something like that they may think that or maybe they're worried about maybe the views that they're gonna get, the likes or the comments that they're gonna get. Mm -hmm. And I think that's partially one of the reasons why. Because I feel if people uh, don't see something that they're, I guess, used to or maybe like expect, they may not like it in that sense. And that makes any sense or not? Yeah, that's fair. That, that makes actually yeah. that makes that does make sense. Um, and uh, I also was going to to talk about. Um, you made a post on your Instagram talking about mm -hmm. the the final five videos that you're going to be making. Um, yeah. Is there anything you can tell us? I know one of them is Avengers of Infinity War, one's a Dragon Ball video, one's about Halloween, Pokemon, and Godzilla. Yeah. And um, so is there anything you can tell us about those videos at all? Like anything, any new information or something that you can publicly share? You know, like like say like there's some new story elements or something about mm -hmm. you know something like that all right so <clears throat> yeah a lot of people uh when i made that post were either confused about it or maybe like didn't have like uh, all the questions all their questions answered and i'm glad that you asked that question so i can finally like give the people the answers that they want mm -hmm. so pretty much and the whole situation behind it is that these will be my final five videos and <clears throat> I'm not including part three in this uh, from uh, Avengers Endgame. I'm including uh, the finale of Endgame, so that's why it's uh, in, that's uh, in included. Right. Um, right. Like other videos, like like to say like the contest, like uh, the contest uh, winners, or like my custom videos. That, that I don't count that, but like pure stop motion wise, those will be my final five. And I chose those five because not only those things that I wanted to do that I maybe pushed uh pushed away to continue something else or maybe i didn't think were things that people were interested in i decided for me at least i was like all right i'm in my opinion i'll explain to like my reason why i'm like gonna like uh not necessarily give up or quit but like stop i was like all right if i'm gonna like i guess stop these are gonna be the five i want to stop on so obviously uh the uh, end game finale i definitely want to wrap that up so that way people get the conclusion mm -hmm. that they want to see mm -hmm. um godzilla because i'm a huge god uh, huge godzilla fan and uh i just think i can finally uh with my current i guess knowledge and whatnot and resources i can finally do a i think a cool uh godzilla style motion <clears throat> same thing goes with halloween um i think i've never done a horror style motion before so that's something i definitely want to try out and see what I can do with that. Uh, Ash versus Mewtwo with the Pokemon stop motion. Mm -hmm. That's because I'm a huge fan of Pokemon. Um, and I just never did a Pokemon stop motion before. And I, like I said, I feel like this is something I think I can do that's good with my current like knowledge, skill set, and resources and whatnot. So that's definitely something. And then the last video, which is uh, next year, uh, or like the last <clears throat> of the five, is Dragon Ball Ultimate 4. And I decided that that's going to be the, the last video in the list because um, it's like a story. In my mind, it's like a story because when I originally released uh, Dragon Ball Ultimates 1, that was like three to four years ago. Right. And that really started my, I guess, my, my real sense of taking my stop motions more seriously because, like, I'll do, like, 30-second, like, test videos and whatnot or just – like ultimates one means more to me than just oh uh, just a regular stop motion movie or a dragon ball stop motion movie that was like the first real time i took like a stop motion project serious and like where i guess like just beyond what i'm used to like having voice actors writing with my friend mary movies and whatnot like that 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 to me means a lot so i felt if i'm gonna end 
on a project it has to be the last movie since mm-hmm. I started with that, if that makes any sense. Like that it's like yeah. a story to me. Yeah, yeah if like I, if it's, I stay up with this, I have to end with that. Yeah, like it's come full circle. Like you started with uh, Dragon Ball Ultimates and Dragon Ball videos, and now it's like coming to an end with your last Dragon Ball video. Yeah, that makes yeah. perfect sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, well, I, I mentioned I'm really excited to see what you do with all these different kind of genres and ideas, like with the uh, Pokemon and Godzilla and Halloween. It's Halloween especially. Um, I, I really got into. Um, some horror stuff recently over the past few years so like i really enjoyed seeing like uh, uh a lot more horror stop motions at the late that i've been seeing so i'm really interested to see your take on uh michael myers as the care uh, that character and mm-hmm. uh, the take on that the world of the halloween series so i'm really interested to see what you do with that and with the uh, godzilla i'm also a fan of godzilla too um I don't have any figures, but I really enjoy the I really enjoy the series. Um, mm-hmm. So I'm also intrigued to see what you do with that. And uh, is there any um, uh, besides Godzilla? Is there any monsters you can give away that you're going to be uh, putting in the video? Um, yeah, um, there's the main villain, uh, King Ghidorah, nice. and um, I don't know if I want to give this away because it's the end credit scene. Mm-hmm. Um, Alright, I guess I would. Um, I, I guess I will give it away. It's nothing like too crazy. Uh, Mothra will be in the uh, end credits scene, and she's gonna have a very, <laughs> uh, she's gonna have a very uh, funny role because with the Godzilla uh, stop motion, not only is it gonna be like you know action and whatnot, we're also making it uh, a comedy. Cause, Ooh. Okay. Uh, what's it called? With the older Godzilla movies, the, well, with my in my opinion at least, I felt like. Yeah, they were like, I guess, trying to be serious with like giant monsters attacking, but I also found the Godzilla movies back then to be more kind of goofy and more over the top, over the top, if that makes any sense. Yeah. And that's something that's different with the newer ones that are coming out. The newer ones are like more serious, like, oh, they're a threat to like the planet and whatnot, which I understand. But I felt for this one, I felt like we, we should bring back the more goofy slash comedy type appeal to it. Because... Yeah, you know, it was like giant monsters fighting, destroying the city. But it was also a lot of goofy stuff happening. Like, if you got, like, if people look back, like Godzilla's doing like weird actions. Like, I don't know, it's like a, a famous scene where he does like a drop kick when he's like on his tail or something like that. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know, I've seen that. Drop kick, uh, Godzilla dancing. Like, you see, like stuff like that. Like the goofy part of it. That's something that we want to put emphasis on with the Godzilla stop motion. Mm-hmm. Do you um? Do you happen to remember Gazuki? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like little oh, things man. like that. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah I remember little stuff like that uh, growing up, like watching the Godzilla animated show, like seeing like the more goofier side of Godzilla. So that's cool. You're making it in a comedy. That's something that's um, unique. I, I like oh. it. I like it. Um, and uh, I also wanted to uh, ask you about, essentially, since you mentioned about your last five videos. And you essentially stopping animation as a whole, so um, which I stated to you that I 100% understand and support mm-hmm. your decision. Because um, I know, like, you can't, nobody can be on YouTube forever. And, yeah. you know, essentially, you know, you everybody has their own lives and their own things going on, and people want to move on and do and bigger and better things. So, um, Essentially, when you are, it's like, this is, I'm working on the last video, the last video's out, um, so will you still be a part of, will you just be a spectator of the stop motion community? Will you still be a part of it in some shape or form, or are you just completely, like, you're cutting it off, you're just, like, I'm gonna move on, I'm doing other stuff, and I'm, you're, that's it? Um... No, I'm not going to leave completely. I'm definitely still going to be around in the sense of, like, talking to people and whatnot. Um, that was definitely a question I was asked, too, when I made the uh, announcement slash post. Um, people asked me, I was like, oh, why are you leaving, this and that. I'm like, well, I'm not leaving, like, necessarily. Like, like motion-wise, animation and uploading, yes. But, like, still being a part of the community, I'm not leaving the community. Like, this is something I've been doing all my life. Like, I've been doing stop motion for over 10, 11 years now, and... I can't, I like, 
moving on yes but in the sense of like dropping it completely i don't think i can do that like yeah. it's like stop motion still doesn't mean a lot to me and like just doing these final five and knowing that these will be it like it's my mindset like I, this is like a mindset i'm determined on it's like i don't want to like be like yeah mm. there's a chance that i might change my mind like i want to keep my mindset because i feel this is something i have to do mm. and i don't want to like go back and like Pretty much, another, like, main thing is I don't want to play with people's emotions. Like, I don't want people to have, like, know that I'm done, and then all of a sudden, last minute, oh, I'm, I'm back. Like, like something, something like that, and just play with their emotions. Like, right. I just want people right. to know, like, like this is my mindset mm -hmm. what I'm doing. Um, I'm still going to be around. I'm going to keep my Instagram and whatnot, and maybe I'll make other, like, social medias and whatnot. But, like, talking to people, helping out, mm -hmm. stuff like that, like, I'm still going to be part of it. But, like, just right. uploading and, like, I guess, stuff like that. That's where I guess I'm moving on in that aspect. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I just also wanted to um, just kind of just ask that, just, you know, the for some people who might not have uh, might have access to you or might you haven't really announced that on YouTube or maybe your other social medias, you know, I wanted to ask that just so, you know, people can have a clear answer. You know, so yeah. and I know you've been you you told me you've been messaging people and letting people know that you know this is what you have to say on the matter. But you know, I think um, even though I might not be the biggest channel in the world, I think this will be a good chance, you know, for you to get that to clear the air essentially. Oh yeah. You know, um, oh my bad. <laughs> oh no, you go, you go. No, you know, you're right. Um, I No, you're absolutely right. This is one of the things that, like, I, I'm glad that you did ask the question, like, for me to, like, elaborate and whatnot, because I didn't make the announcement yet on my YouTube just yet. Um, there's a reason why I did that, and it's because um, the reason why I didn't announce it just yet on my YouTube channel is because maybe I'm wrong for having this mindset, but currently everyone is literally bombarding me nonstop, asking me, oh, where's Avengers Endgame? Where's Avengers Endgame? Stuff like that. Right. Which I'm extremely grateful for because I know that shows interest and people want to see it. Right. So in my right. mind, I felt if I make this announcement now on my YouTube, people that want to see it are not going to, are going to feel like that it's not going to come out. Because like, I'm not like, I don't want to like necessarily like say this about all fans, but they may not listen to the video entirely and not understand exactly like my, my points so they just think i'm gonna quit like all together not upload anything right. so i'm gonna wait to like the videos that i guess they want to see like avengers endgame is out and that's when i make the like and not like really put emphasis on the announcement like all right guys like this is what's going on blah 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 stuff like that mm -hmm. yeah that, that actually makes a lot of sense no you shouldn't feel wrong for having that mindset because that actually like i said that makes sense in terms of you don't want people to mistake your words or think that you know that you are quitting entirely or that you know that you are essentially like abandoning abandoning your fan base you know because yeah. um no so that makes perfect sense um i i mean i get it so i mean i i feel like um if whenever that whenever that video drops you explaining it or if you, even if you ever do that you know just and I, I know you'll explain it in the way where a lot of people will make sense of it. And if some people just are still upset about it, then, I mean, that's not your issue. <laughs> well, I, I get what you mean. I mean, yeah. Like, yeah. So, I mean, like, it's essentially it's your choice and essentially it's your channel. So I 100% I believe that if somebody feels like their time is, like, come to an end and that's it yeah you know so um like for example i don't know if, you, if you're familiar like with filthy frank at all yeah um, <laughs> yeah so like um like his time came to it i think it came at, at an end at the perfect time for him mm -hmm. um just because of the timing of what youtube was you know how it was being restrictive of that kind of content he was making and also he was making his music yeah. Um, you know, and also just dealing with his uh, real life stuff in terms of, like I say, his music and his personal life. And so Filthy Frank came in to an end at the right time. And I think that um, you announced it at a good time and you're going to be ending it at a good time. And mm -hmm. um, 
so like I, I like I told you, I think you've been handling the situation very, very well. Yeah, and thank you. Yeah, no problem. So I, I, cause some people, um, I've seen who said, "Oh, I'm ending YouTube. I'm not gonna, I'm, you know, I'm done with this." You know, sometimes they don't, they don't say the right thing or they don't mm-hmm. do the right thing. You know, that makes their fan base confused or angry or whatever. But you know, like even either way, even if you do it the right way, there's gonna be some people that are just not gonna take that well but i you know but i think how you did it was perfect so thank you (laughs) yeah no problem um i guess uh you're getting close to the end here is uh i i noticed that like uh since you've made a lot of different variety of videos like your tokyo ghoul video that you made and your naruto versus sasuke i said a couple of your transformers videos um so like if Hypothetically, let's say you weren't making your last five videos. Mm-hmm. What would be a couple more video ideas that you're like, man, I would love to make this. Like, like you're just like, this is an idea that, or ideas that you wish you could make, but since you know, since you're coming, you know, you're you're putting your chapter to a close. What are some uh-huh. video ideas that you that you wish you would have made, or some ideas that you're like, you know that you might put out in between or whatever like that so um let's see um no there, there's been a couple uh for one uh definitely continuing transformers uh like the sequel to bumblebee versus dropkick um that would have been one of them um a project uh, a project i guess or a topic or a subject was uh, my hero academia mm. uh, yeah that's definitely something that me and Mary movies wanted to do um <clears throat> uh yeah that was definitely one of them problem the problem that we faced was lack of figures and gotcha. because well, it, it's crazy because it was a lack of figures when we wanted to do it and now that's coming to the end that's when there's more yeah all these here out. my hero academia figures like yeah. like uh <laughs> yeah they're coming out everywhere like it's... yeah and it's just like dang like you guys couldn't come out sooner like my god <laughs> yeah like um oh, what else is there um it's funny they mentioned Tokyo Ghoul because uh, <laughs> there was supposed to be a sequel with that, and I'm not gonna lie, years ago, really? and I did make one, and I wasn't proud of it like at all. Mm-hmm. I <laughs> I really wasn't proud of it, mm-hmm. and it was supposed to be the sequel where it was like uh, Kaneki versus uh, I don't know if you ever heard of the uh, the anime Parasite. Mm. Uh, I, I've was, heard of it in passing, but I haven't watched it. Yeah, and that's been a fight that I felt like the anime community like sometimes talk about. Nothing like too big, like Goku versus like other characters, but like like one like those like mid bottom tier fights. Like who would win between these two? Because they're kind of similar. Right. And that's what I I thought about. I was like, man, like who would win between these two? Like they're similar, but they're different. And that was supposed to be the sequel because it was like like in my mindset when I do stop motions, there isn't no exact like canon. Like it's honestly open to anything like like if you like honestly you you can see something like a transformer appear in an avenger stop motion if if we really wanted to like it's not no exact oh this is strictly in the tokyo ghoul universe or exactly the dragon ball universe or the transformers universe like i'm not saying that they're all connected but if we wanted to you know it's not like they're they, they, they gotta be forced right um, and other thing that i would say besides that uh Hmm. Uh, I thought about doing a Naruto, uh, another Naruto video. It was a uh, Sasuke and Naruto versus uh, Madara. It was supposed to be the continuation for the the uh, Madara versus the Shinobi Alliance stop motion. Right. Um, I just, I just, uh, what's it called? Another thing. I, I tried it. I didn't like how it was coming out, so I just pushed it aside. And then for the last one, um, my my uh, really good friend Mikey Tron three hundred is probably gonna get really mad at me, but. <laughs> uh, t- t- Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, right? Because um, <laughs> you mentioned you kind of had a tease for that in your um, contest video. I remember that. Yeah, so that was a that was a running joke that that we have is because he's literally like the like a huge Ninja Turtles fan. Like in my opinion, one of the biggest. And mm-hmm. he he what's it called? Really really wants me to make a TMNT series or a stop motion at least. 
And I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> I kind of been a bad friend. And I'm like, yeah, I will one day, I will one day. And honestly, it's never happened yet. So I, it, I kept telling him it will happen. And I, I kind of, I really feel bad, but it's, at this point, it's probably not gonna happen. I really feel bad because you know he's my real good, a uh, real good friend and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But if yeah, I want to say if I wasn't gonna, if these weren't my final five, eventually I can't promise one. Eventually though, that would have been one of them. And yeah, and those are just some of them, or if not like the ones that, if these weren't my final five, those would have been on there as well. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think yeah. You, yeah, you mentioned to me, um, didn't you say you wanted to do something with like with uh, Kingdom Hearts? Uh huh. Yeah. Um, was it like uh, something like uh, Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy, right? Uh huh. Yeah, 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 I thought that would have been really cool. I think that would that actually would make a whole lot of sense considering uh -huh. that you know they kind of take place in the same universe. <laughs> so, uh -huh. um, yeah, uh, that would have been really cool too. Um, and you mentioned like someone like uh, like Mikey Tron, and that makes me think about like uh, I used to watch a lot of uh, his videos when he was uploading. And, uh, Man, really? and <laughs> yeah, um, uh, Mikey Tron was uh, I was a big Ninja Turtles fan too, and I still kind of am to an extent. And so when I first started, I used to look up uh, TMNT videos, and his popped up. So he's like a I'm still a fan of his, you know. Um, so, um, so essentially, I I wanted to ask um, when talking about. Uh, I usually always ask everybody this question: Is who inspired you to essentially create make your YouTube channel? Oh, okay. Um, hmm, that's a real good question. And it can um, be multiple people. You know, it doesn't have to be one person. You know. No, I, I get what you mean. Um, so m what inspired me with my YouTube channel? Well, funny enough, I've been with, well, I, I been with YouTube in a way for like, since the beginning in the sense of like, when it first started, like all the way 2006, 2005 types uh, type stuff. I may, I may be like a year off or so, but when I was like a little kid and I had, I had many channels, but none of them really did good. Mm -hmm. And my third channel, well, I only had four, but like, you know, like spending years. My third channel, which some people know about, which was called TMS5. Now, TMS5, that was, I kind of took that serious. The way that channel started was I did, I would, uh, I would upload like 10 second highlights of like uh, uh, video games that I played. And that didn't really like, you know, do that much and whatnot. And then, um, uh, with that channel, I did like like some video game stuff, but then I'm like, yo, I can you know upload stop motions and whatnot. Like it doesn't have to be you know like these video game clips. So then I started doing stop motion. It, it wasn't nothing too major, and it uh what's that called? It got like some attention. I think like that channel will probably get like 300 views max, and I uploaded. Funny enough, I uploaded Ultimates one on that channel. And I just, re and when I made Unrivaled Pictures, I re-uploaded it. Now, that channel isn't up no more because I did take it down. And the reason why I took it down, um, <laughs> it's crazy because I didn't even make this announcement when it first happened. Uh, well, everyone knows now. But um, I did take that channel down. And the reason why is because I wasn't satisfied with myself and how the channel was performing. Because right. I knew right. if I was going to do, if I was going to do YouTube, regardless if I was going to make tons of money or make mi like millions of subscribers and views i knew i had to take it serious not just for myself but just to like be to present a channel that makes any sense to present my work mm. even if yeah. even if i wasn't presenting it to anyone just for myself like to know that i worked really hard on this and it looks good or it got some attention so after i deleted my tms5 channel i took a long break and i was just like thinking with, like I said, married movies and my friends and whatnot. I was like, all right, guys, when I do make my eventual return, what what do I do? Like, what do I do different? Like, it's not just like my channel in the sense; it's like our channel, like me and my friends. Like, like it, it we, it's all a team effort. Like, everyone had a in, like, had a part in my channel. So, coming up, like we all knew it was gonna be stop motion based, but it was like the name, and. <laughs> 
the the name behind Unrival Pictures, which is a different name, which is what I was going for. I don't want to do something like, uh, let's just say, Unraveled Studios or Productions. Like, we're not taking shots at people who have that name, mm-hmm. but I kind of feel right. like I wanted to be different. Right. So, the way Unraveled Pictures came was because, now this may be like a little bit too much thinking into it, but what's it called? Back in the day, way, way back in the day, when people would see movies, I, they would call it a picture. So, mm-hmm. in the sense of like, I'm unraveling the picture of like multiple movies and whatnot. So oh, it's like unraveling okay. movies and like different stop motion movies. Yeah, so then, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's. Um, I, I was thinking about that, and I, I, I actually get a couple questions about um, about my channel name because it's changed a couple bit over. Uh, it changed uh, over the years. Uh, I originally was a Moose the animator, and now I'm Moose the creator. Mm-hmm. And uh, what kind of changed my mind on that, and this is kind of an answer for anybody who doesn't know, um, I, I I saw myself, I see myself as somebody that, you know, really likes to create their own stories and everything and likes to create their own universe, essentially. When I see, when I look at a movie, or when I look at a TV show, it's like looking into another universe or something like that. Yeah. Um, plus, I was also inspired by the name of one of my... Uh, favorite musicians uh you ever heard of tyler the creator yes <laughs> yeah so so i kind of was inspired by tyler the creator um mm-hmm. so i just thought oh i'll just do a little parody of tyler the creator's name so mm-hmm. um that's where that kind of came from but that's really interesting uh about how your name and about your other channels and everything um mm-hmm. i have actually i have like i i have a, a, my one of my first channels that's still up and that was one of my older videos when I was first starting doing YouTube back in 2012. Um, yeah. And they're so cringy. And, yeah, I, you know, I, I, I yeah, I, I, uh, you know, um, I essentially still have that channel if anybody ever finds it. Um, oh, yeah. It's one of those I, you got to find it channel. Oh, yeah. So, like, if anybody ever finds it, then um, at least it, it's a bit of history. You know, yeah. I, that's why I see it as. Sometimes I get it if you don't want, if you're just like, nope, this nobody can see this. This is no, yeah. like I get it. <laughs> you know, like, um, yeah. no, no shame to that at all. Cause, uh, I, you I know, totally get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I just personally see that kind of stuff. It's just you know, it's a bit of history from where you first started, essentially where I first started. Mm-hmm. Um, so. Yeah, and I guess my last question essentially is uh, what is something you want to say to your fan base? Oh, um, hmm. Uh, okay, so if I were to say anything to my fan base, and I do get this a lot, uh, is that, well, for one, I get this asked a lot or told a lot when, like, through Instagram from uh, either smaller channels or people wanting to do, like, get into stop motion mm-hmm. because. I get I get told a lot from like people like oh like I want to do stop motion or like stop motion animations or make a YouTube account but people will say I suck or I don't think I'm good at it blah 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 stuff like that and I kind of I like I want people or my fan base if like even if they have a large channel or not I want them to understand that it's like look everyone sucks at something. Right. Or everyone starts off at a certain way. Like, and I want people to understand this in the sense of, like, even though I have, so, like, how many subscribers or whatever, I don't want you guys to look at me in the sense of, like, being bigger than you or being better than you. Because literally, and I want people to understand this, is like, I'm literally equal to you. Like, I'm just like you. I'm a fan just like you. Mm-hmm. Like, I like I like to watch, like I be like when I do watch videos on YouTube, I find it's just like uh, cool stop motion videos, and like the channel either has ten, a hundred subscribers, or if not, it's a brand new channel. I'll be like, I like I'll like I kind of like fanboy over. I'm like, oh my, like this was great. Like, like I I'm just like you guys, and I want you guys to understand. It's like maybe don't feel discouraged when it comes to like doing stop motion one night and. Yeah, there's like hate comments, there's people like that, but it's like you just gotta keep going along with it. Like, like that's the like the process with it is struggling with it. Like I still go through it right now. Like I mentioned projects that I never uploaded or didn't continue because I wasn't proud of 
maybe what I made, but that's just the, the learning process. Like, like I said, I've been doing this for like over 10 years now and I'm still learning as we go. And I want just people to understand that if you're gonna start, it's gonna take patience and a lot of time for you to not only understand like, like how stop motion works, but what works for you and you growing at your own rate because everyone can grow different. Like you might get 500 subscribers in a week and or someone that might take someone years to do. Like just it's all a process. And if you're going to do it, I really recommend it. And that's pretty much it. Like just take your time. Don't give up on it. And just pretty much like like uh like, like, just don't be discouraged, I guess. Yeah, I, I say the exact same thing. You know, when I, um, I, I really don't get a lot of advice sometimes. Like, I, I mean, I don't get a lot of questions about giving advice, but whenever I can, you know, I, I just tell people just, you know, like, just go with it. You know, just if you, yeah. if you have a phone and if you have figures and, you know, you have the time and patience. Just do mm-hmm. it, you know? Like, you don't have to have big, fancy sets or have, like, uh, yeah. big, huge quality, you know? Just do it. Yeah, you I know? totally agree. Like, with me, like, <clears throat> like with me, like, some people, because some people, like, say the same thing. It's like, like when I tell, like, I, literally what you just said, like, I'll tell, I'll tell people some things like that, too. And though some people will say, like, oh, but you have this and that, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, but you got to work with what you have. I didn't have, mm-hmm. let's just say, SH figure arts this or Marvel Legends that. Like, you got to start off one place and make your way up. And right. I understand there's other factors like financial situations and whatnot, and I do get it. But it's like, you got to work with what you have, and you working with your ha- with what you have is what will get you out there. Right. Like, right. if you look at my first Dragon Ball Ultimates video, my green screen, like, the quality wasn't good. But I worked with what I had, and I was proud of it. And that's, I feel, the main key to it. You got to be proud of what you do and work with what you have. Like, even still to this day, I'm not going to lie, my sets for my stop motions aren't the best. They're not, and I will admit that. But I, like I said, I still go on. I use what I have, and I try. And that's what I feel people got to really understand. That's like that's a big factor in it. Like, you got to try and use what you have. now, And that's what will get you noticed. Right. And um, when... And I also want to uh, preface this is that, you know, like, like, like big sub motions, like quote unquote big sub motion animators like you and Leo Legendary and Swag Wave and etc. you know, like, and like War TV 14, you know, like they all started where everyone else is, <laughs> you yeah. know, like, um, you know, I, you know, I, I started like with, with no sets, with mm-hmm. nothing. All I did was record in my kitchen, on the kitchen floor. Yeah. I thought and, I was the only one who did that. I'm not going to lie to you. I thought I was the only one. Yeah, no. I When I first started, all I did was had the figures that I had, which weren't Marvel <laughs> Legends. There were just some bootleg stuff I found online for $12. And mm-hmm. I just, dra- like, bootleg Dragon Ball Z figures, and I just did it. Mm-hmm. And... They aren't great, but I was proud of them at the time because I did it and I uploaded something and mm-hmm. and I did it just because of the fun of it and you know I and that's why I look at my my stuff now is that I love uploading videos just so I, my story and my essentially my creativity is out there. Yeah. You know, cuz what matters is not so much the the views or how many subscribers I might get. I think what matters to me is is just getting my essentially getting my stuff out there so people can yeah. see it. Because if you never, because if you don't, if you're too afraid of doing it, then no, then no, no one's not going to see what you're capable mm-hmm. of. And mm-hmm. so I just say I 100% agree with you, and I also want to add that you know people like you guys just just gotta do it yeah. it, it might not be exactly how you want to but mm-hmm. if you just have enough faith in yourself and just have enough of courage and passion then you'll get there you might be the next uh unravel pictures in the community <laughs> you know 
So yeah. it's that, that's what essentially it might not be as quick as you want it to or mm-hmm. you know it might not be like how you how you wanted to look but you'll get there yeah and it, 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 i don't know it, to me it's like a uh kind of like 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 i like i said before like i'm like i'm one of like i'm like i'm one of like the fans and whatnot like like i, I i'm just like one of you guys like just because i have uh i guess a uh, high subscribe channel and whatnot like I'm just like you guys. Like even when like when you just compared me to like those people, like Swagwave, War TV, and, like stuff like that. It's like that to me is surreal that like other people think I'm up there or comparable and stuff to those people. And it's like that makes me feel like it. It just like it's crazy to me because it's like I was I'm in like I'm still in those shoes of the fans who look up to like it's like me and those other people as well. Like I'm just with you guys. Like just mm-hmm. like you guys and stuff. Like. It, it just, it's like crazy to me if that makes any sense. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I get it. You know, I never thought ever, like, like after watching you for the past year or two, um, I never thought ever I would get the chance to talk to you, man, like ever. And um, it's such like a pleasure to getting to know you and getting to do this interview yeah, with you. You know, it's such a pleasure, man. Like, this is actually like something I just never thought would happen like same thing when i interviewed like like with war tv and swagwave and leo and every other and 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 mm animations and you know um freddie yeah. williams the second you know like if you're um all these people i've interviewed i never thought i would get the chance to talk to them and it's been mm-hmm. you know like people like are comparing me to you guys essentially you know and and it's like i don't know how but I appreciate everyone who has yeah, been so supportive. I, I agree with you. I, I feel I, I know exactly what you're, how you feel. <laughs> yeah. Um, again, thank you, man. Really appreciate no you problem. coming on. I uh, really appreciate it. So, yeah. um, so everyone, please check out Unraveled. Um, make some great stuff. Uh, every, like his Instagram and his YouTube will be in the link in the description. Um, so please check him out. Uh, subscribe to him, follow him, you know, he'll be posting more stuff up and be on the lookout for uh, Avengers Endgame Part 3 and all the other rest of the videos he's going to be making. So, again, all right, thank you, man. Appreciate it. No problem.